So this is the first song. This is written by Raghuna Das Goswami. It's called Govardhan Ashray Dashaka. Little bit complex. Are you ready? Rajit Kadambu Japadi Rajat Kanesh Kanguli Pathashe Pathashakra Nakra Mukhata Krode Brajam Dragapa Pathashe Pathashakra Nakra Mukhata Krode Brajam Dragapa Ashtam Kokul Abandhava Giri Vadam Govardhana Ashraye Indratne nibhritam gavam suranadhi Tohye nadi nadma gaha Shatre nano kata chakada sulabhi yenita abhikesha sukade Dasache janite nanandita janam Govinda kandam piti Ashtam bodhi kadenda pata shikadam govardham ashraye Ardhuni <laughs> 
ಜಾಧವಿ ಮಾಧೇ ಚಂಚಿ ಸ್ವಾಧಿ ಆಶ್ರಿ 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare so there is a book by Shla Raguna Das Goswami. It's called Stavavali. So you have you have heard about Manasiksha. Manasiksha is also taken from this book. So it's a group of prayers, and there are three prayers. He has written prayers for um, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he has written three pray prayers for Govardhan. So this is one of the prayer. It's called Govardhan Ashray Tachakam. And if you see in the end, it says Govardhanam Nashrayet. Nashrayet means, is there anybody who will not take Ashray of Govardhan? So first he glorifies Govardhan. Then he says, is there anybody who will not take Ashray of Govardhan? So has everyone been to Govardhan? How many of you have not been to Govardhan? Come. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We will try to read translation. We will just read these at least maybe two prayers and that's all. Okay. Somebody can read the first. One by one we'll see and we'll try to understand the meaning. So we'll go slow. We'll not just read today. Somebody can read. Who will not, who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill, the best of mountains, the friend of Gokula, the charming bumblebee, that for seven days stood on the graceful pole of the lotus flower of Lord Krishna's hand and protected Raja from the mouth of the Indra crocodile raining a great monsoon. Hmm. So who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill, the best of mountains? Clear? The friend of Gokula. Who is the friend of Gokula? No. Govardhan. He is the friend of Gokula. He is the best of mountains. The charming bumblebee that for seven days stood on the graceful hole of the lotus flower of Lord Krishna's hand. So what is charming bumblebee referred to? Govardhan. The charming bumblebee that, why is he referred to bumblebee? It's long time. Flying. Huh? Because flying. Flying on the, because it's on the lotus. On the, Ah, so, the lotus, I mean, the bumblebee so, is. It revolves around, around the lotus. Lo okay, close. Anybody else? <laughs> ah. What does a bumblebee do? It it takes nectar. nectar from lotus. So, Govardhan is taking nectar from Krishna's hand. So, he referred to the charming bumblebee. That for seven days, for seven days, he is receiving the nectar. Stood on the graceful hole of the lotus flower of Lord Krishna's hand and protected Raja from the mouth of Indra crocodile, Indra crocodile, raining a great monsoon. Anyone can think of why crocodile? Protected Raja from the mouth of the Indra crocodile, raining a great monsoon. How does crocodile eat? Does he devour everything? Yes. Yeah. Big mouth. So in this way, huh? just so follows, follows everything. Yeah. So in this way, he just wanted to engulf the entire Raja in the rain. But who protected? 
गोवर्धन क्लियर who speak is the place of past times of for lord krishna lord krishna perform past times on the peak of govardhan the master of the surubi cows and near which is blissful govindakund where is govindakund in near govardhan where is govindakund in govardhan where is govardhan is in badi parikrama or choti parikrama those who have not been to govardhan is like this and there is a road that goes from middle so this side is choti parikrama this side is badi parikrama bada parikrama means it is 13 km and this is maybe around 9 or 10 and this 30 km so on badi parikrama on this side in the middle is govindakund all so what happened in govindakund the master and near which is blissful govindakund where a surubi cow followed by humbled indra bearing the waters of the celestial ganges beat lord krishna and secretly crowned him king of the surubi cows so this is after krishna lifted govardhan krishna kept the govardhan back then surubi cow came with humbled indra and indra brought airavata with him and airavata with brought ganges water from heaven heaven because ganga goes from there all the way to patal loka so airavata got in his sound lot of ganges water and they bathed did abhishek to krishna there and the water that flowed there became govindakund all right and there surubi cow um, made uh, krishna as the king of surubi cows as a leader of surubi cows okay number 3 what pious person will not take shelter of govardhana kya which is glorified by the great sages and which is encircled by the lakes shri sirikund brahmakund harakund apsarakund priya priyaka kund and sridhana kund which are splendid with the happiness of pure love and more dear to lord hari than the celestial ganges and the host of other sacred places so what the what pious man will not take shelter of govardhan hill which is glorified by the great sages so all the great sages glorify govardhan how much great sages love they have for govardhan they do like dandavat parikrama they do 108 dandavat parikrama they live on the bank of govardhan and they do bhajan there so how much sages they have love for govardhan so which is glorified by the great sages and which is encircled by the lakes sirikund anybody knows about this sirikund nobody knows thank you i also don't know then there is brahma kund anyone knows about brahma kund brahma kund nobody knows about brahma kund i know about brahma kund <laughs> <laughs> so brahma kund is the place where brahma was humbled after the after the uh, brahma vimohan leela he met on the bank and that place is called brahma kund so that first time happened here then harakund harakund don't know i also don't know apsarakund what happened apsarakund don't know i know <laughs> apsarakund so apsarakund is the place where all the gopis after rasila past time they melt in liquid form and that form an apsarakund after their past times so this is and krishna also melted into water and that formed navalkund 
So their past times happened and Naval Kund and Apsara Kund. So there is Siddhi Kund, Brahma Kund, Hara Kund, Apsara Kund, Priyanka Kund. I don't know. Shri Dana Kund. You know Dan Kund. Where Dan Lila happens. You heard about Dan Lila. Where <clears throat> Radharani goes and then Krishna stops her and she says, you have to pay the taxes. She said, what do I have to pay taxes for? And he says, your lotus size is like 500 diamonds. Your uh, your uh, hairs is like these many rubies. And the things you are carrying is like this many sapphires. And uh, your hands is like this and this. So in order to cross, you have to pay the tax. Very expensive. So he's he asked Padu Bangal, so how much is that tax? And then they bring. so those pastimes happens regularly. And that place is called Danakon. So Raghunath Das Goswami is glorifying Govardhan by sharing what all happens at Govardhan. What all pastimes of Krishna happens at Govardhan? Danakon, which has splendid. So Prabhuji, Dan Kund is at the road, Dan Ghati. Uh, where Shankari Kaur is Barsana, yes. Shankari Kaur is Barsana, there also that happens. Here also this happens. Multiple places, similar past time. So, oh, one second. She Dan Kund, which are splendid with the happiness of pure love and more dear to Lord Hari than the celestial Ganges and a host of all other sacred places. So, these places are, these Kundas and these places are trillions of times more dear to Krishna than the Ganga and so many other sacred places. And they are found on the portal of Govardhan. Who will not take shelter of Govardhan to keep charming house be, be bored in trees and to the place where the lakes Jonsa Mokshana Kunda, Malya Kunda, Kara Kunda, Sumana Kunda, Gauri Kunda, Palari Baja Kunda, Gandharva Kunda, many other lakes, many swiftly moving mountain streams, many lying thrones for amorous pastimes, many places for Lord Hari's other pastimes, and the covered boy, Lord Hari himself, are all Mm. So who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill, which is charming with cows? There are always cows grazing on that. There are deers, Kiran, there are birds, there are trees, and which is the place where the lakes Jyotshna Mokshana Kund, which I don't know, and I think nobody knows. Because if it was there in Shastra, we would have known by now. Like so <laughs> then Malaya Kund. Anybody knows about Malaya Kund? Malaya Kund. Nobody knows about them. Seems like I have heard, but I don't remember also. Then there is Hara Kund. I don't know about that also. There is Sumana Kund. You know Suman Kund? Sumana Kund? Sumana Kund that time is Kusum Sarova. You know various past times that happens where Srimati Radharani comes and makes garland every day for Sri Krishna. That is a Kusum Sarova. There is Sumana Kund. The deity is there is Radha, one Bihari. Then Gauri Kund. Gauri Kund is the pastime which Chandravali happens there. Gauri Kund. Also, there is a pastime you may have heard where uh, after worshipping sun god, uh, um, I mean, after the afternoon pastimes of the Lord, then uh, Shivati Radharani comes to worship at Gauri Kund to worship sun god. And there, uh, somebody said that Jatila is coming. Every environment became very tense. Then Krishna took the form of Gauri. And then there is a detailed pastime described by Rupa Goswami. Anyone heard that pastime? Krishna took the form of Gauri. Like Lord Shiva's wife. Only if you have heard those pastime. No, never heard that pastime. So, <clears throat> in short, uh, um, it was it so happened that um, Abhimanyu he wanted to, to take Shrimati Radharani to um, Mathura and 
Krishna was very much concerned that uh, he is going to Mathura. Then uh, there is some news that Jatila and Abhimanyu came from that Radharani is coming to Gaurikund. And then they got some hint that Krishna is also there. So uh, Jatila and Abhimanyu, they came to Gaurikund. And there uh, the news came that they are at the entrance. And it was a great panic because Krishna was also there. Lalita Vishakha was there, Srimati Radharani was there. So Krishna immediately took the form of a Gauri and he says, and he just came in front of Gauri and he covered Gauri and then he's standing like this and he was anyways bluish blackish in color. So he took the form as if uh, he is Gauri Devi. And then uh, Srimati Radharani immediately as they came, she immediately started praying obeisance again and again, oh Gauri Devi, my obeisance to you. <laughs> oh Gauri Devi. So Jatla and Abhimani were thinking that, oh, our, our Srimati, our Radha is so... Um, devoted to Gauri Devi, then um, Gauri Devi started speaking, who was actually Krishna. So Gauri Devi said, uh, very soon, you are worshipping me so much, but I'm very sad to tell you that very soon, your husband will die. So even he was listening. So he was like, what do I do? So there was a panic. So then um, Gatila asked, what should we do? Then Gauri Devi said, uh, well, the only option is if throughout the life, if Srimati Radharani will come continue worshipping me, then I will forgive your husband. But if she goes anywhere else, then your husband will die. And then, so all this beautiful past tense of the Lord happens on the bank of Govardhan. So this happens at Gauri Kund. Then there is Balari Dhwaja Kund, which I don't know. There is Gandharva Kund, many other lakes, many swiftly moving mountain streams and on Govardhan there are many um, mountain streams. Many lion thrones. You know lion thrones? Thrones on which there are lions protruding on the side. There are many, many lion thrones for the Lord's pastimes. Many places for Lord Hari's other pastimes and the cowherd boy Lord Hari himself are all splendidly manifest and Krishna himself manifest on, on Giriraj. So this is Raghunath Das Goswami speaking and he is doing his bhajan on the bank of Radha Kund. And Raghunath Das Goswami has intense attachment to uh, Govardhan. And he is always meditating on all the pastime places that are around Govardhan. Most attractive pastimes of the Lord, they happen on the foothill of Govardhan. On the Govardhan, inside the Govardhan and on the foothill of Govardhan. And, there, and therefore, Raghunath Das Goswami is seeing how many pastimes of the Lord that happens there. He is very much attached to this Govardhan. And he is taking Ashra, shelter of Giridharaj. And he is praying, is there anybody who knowing these things will not take shelter of Govardhan? Yes, Prabhupada. Who will not take shelter of Govardhan? He will be always devoted. The lake known as Kamakun, which is a million of times greater than Jyotis, and which was born from the faith of Lord Krishna, which comes more dear to Lord than even the daily gods here. He who is in the same way, way carries the dwell known as the Rada Kunda, attends the in mercy of Lord Krishna. He becomes the most dear and glorious of devotees. So another glory of Giriraj Govardhan Hill is who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill? He who with he who with always devotedly carries on his both head the lake known as Shamakund, which is millions of times greater than the Ganges. So Govardhan is in the form of a peacock. And the peacock is sitting like you know, peacock. So when he sits and his uh, head is like, and he's sitting in the, like his head in the ground. Understood? Like peacock a very small head. He's sitting like this. So there, his uh, eyes. So Govardhan, if you see, he's like this and then he's like this and then goes like this. So that thing is compared to the peacock head, sitting like this. So his two eyes are Radhakund and Shamakund. So he is carrying Shamakund on his head. So who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill? Who with who he who with always devotedly, he who with always devotedly carries on his board head the lake known as Shamakund. And Shamakund is all the holy rivers. And Krishna 
and his associates himself takes bath there. So which is millions of times greater than Ganges and which was born from the foot of Lord Krishna because he kicked and then it was formed. And that's how all the holy rivers came and entered into Shamakund. Becomes more dear to the Lord than even the demigod Shiva. He who in the same way carries the jewel known as Radha Kund attains the full mercy of Lord Krishna. He becomes the most dear and glorious of devotees. So those people who take Radha Kund in the same way, just like Giriraj carries on his board head Shama Kund on himself, those who with their board head carry Radha Kund on themselves, they become most dear and glorious of all the devotees. And they become recipient of full mercy of Lord Krishna. So who will not take shelter of such a Govardhan him? Number six. Who will not take shelter of Govardhana Him, where the divine couple enjoys their rescue fee pastimes and where the Manasa Ganga flows? The Manasa Ganga, the pilot Mahadeva, Madhava took sweetly beautiful Radha on his boat, and when she, frightened by a great storm, prayed that he come it, he claimed. From her as a rescue fee, the fulfillment of his amorous desires. Who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill, where the divine couple enjoy their rescue fee pastimes and where the Manasa Ganga flows? So, another place at Govardhan Hill is Manasa Ganga, where one time Krishna became a boatman mm -hmm. and uh, he was giving a ride to Srimati Radharani from there to Haridev Mandir, from Manasa Ganga to Haridev Mandir. The only way to get there at that point of time, it was in the middle of Govardhan. Mm -hmm. Only way to get there is through the boat. And then there was a big storm. And she became very concerned. And they started panicking. And then um, the boatman said, well, if you perform pastimes with me, then I will give me that as a fee, then I will free you. And he, she understood this is the Lord of my life, Sri Krishna. And that's how um, then uh, the storm disappears. So who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill where such pastimes of the Lord happen? Raghunath Das Goswami is very hungry to remember and uh, and contemplate on the pastimes of the Lord. And Govardhan Hill is full of the Lord's pastimes. Such pastimes of the Lord happens in Govardhan Hill. No other place such pastimes happens. So, after knowing this, Sagarana Das Goswami is praying, is there anybody who will not take shelter of Govardhan Hill? Yeah. Uh, what pious person will not take shelter of lofty Govardhan Hill, the beautiful and transcendental place of the Rasa dance, where Srimati Radharani and various other Sakhis uh, who are worshipped by Lakshmi Devis also. Because ultimately Lakshmi Devis are expansions of Radharani and Sakhis, all the goddess of fortune. So where such Ras Leela, beautiful pastimes of the Lord also happens on, on the foothill of Govardhan. And there are many places around Govardhan hey, where such pastimes of the Lord happen. One of the most common places is on the bank of Radha, where such pastimes of the Lord happens. so who will not take shelter of over the hill we are blossoming with happiness at the outrageous joking words of their friends perpetually wounded by the swift arrow shot from the corners of their cruel smiling eyes and laughing at the cruel words 
of the ever new dan keli coral the youthful divine couple displayed so many transcendental past times who understood this anybody understood i think i took a wrong dot today <laughs> i realized after that i took the saying that i should not act again this but anyways now i'm stuck <laughs> so i'll just complete it anyways <clears throat> So there's a description of Dan Kelly pastime where the, there is a tax pastime. And then in the tax pastime, there is a lot of sweetness, smiling, and like when Krishna asks for taxes, then Shimati Radharani, she looks like angry eyes, like how can you ask taxes? So those loving, sweet exchanges in the form of external anger, which gives unlimited joy to uh, Sri Krishna, where these pastimes happen at Dan Ghati. So who will not take shelter of such place as Govardhan Hill? Yes. We'll finish it anyhow. Yes, sir. <laughs> So there are other places like uh, there is Sankarshan Kund where Sridham and others are also there. And over there also there is the pastime of um, Lord Krishna's Rathvila pastimes also happens there. And Govardhan also offers many caves for the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Yes, ma'am. So who will not actually go over the hill, the crown king of all mountains, for the people of Raja's sake, Lord Mukunda neglected the sun god's daughter Yamuna. So what did Krishna do? For to save the people from the reign of Indra. What did Lord Krishna do? He neglected the worship of Yamuna. And there are many hills in Govardhan. Like there is Adi Badri, there is Kedana, there are many places in Braja. And he neglected those hills. He neglected the forest of Vrindavan. He neglected the town of Nandishwar. And he made everybody worship Govardhan Hill. You understood the point of Raghundas Goswami? He could, have, he could have said, well, let us worship Nandishwar Hill. Nandishwar will protect us. He could have said, let us worship uh, Indra Puja. He has to stop. He could have said, let us worship Barsana Hill. Let us worship so many other hills. Let us worship Yamuna. Yamuna will protect us. Anybody can protect. But he said, let us worship Govardhan Hill. And he himself performed the worship of Govardhan. So, who will not take shelter of such a place? Where he preferred worship of Govardhan over all the other places of Raja. That much preference Krishna gives. So, like most dear to the heart of Lord Krishna. And that's why we see like uh, Lord Krishna performs many, many pastimes in Vrindavan. But the most attractive pastime Lord Krishna performs is on the foothill of Govardhan. So here Raghunath Das Goswami is basically himself, he wants shelter of Govardhan. And there are, he wrote many other songs. There are two kinds of Govardhan Dashakam and there is Govardhan Ashtakam also, all written by Raghunath Das Goswami, basically praying for eternal residence on the foothill of Govardhan. In the Mati of Govardhana Hill, these 10 beautiful verses about Govardhana Hill, which grant residence at Govardhana Hill, have come from the mouth of a blind old man. The pleasure of Govardhana Hill, which is my life and soul, and which is a beautiful real mine of transcendental virtues, is the right fruit I seek from my neighbor in writing these verses. So, by the mercy of Govardhan Hill, these 10 beautiful verses about Govardhan, which grant residence. So, what will happen if you read or recite or understand these 10 verses, you will 
be given a residence as Govardhan him. Or at least if you if you read these verses, some desire will arise in the heart. I also want to live in Govardhan. Anybody has a desire? Nobody has a desire. I also want to live in Govardhan. It may arise in future. Have come from the mouth of an old blind man. So this shows that when Raghunath Das Goswami is writing these prayers, can he see? What is his age? He is close to 100 years old. He is blinded. And he has deep affection that he wants to live on the bank of to Govardhan. And he is writing these prayers that have arisen from, by the mercy of Govardhan, this glorification of Govardhan has arisen from the blind old man. The pleasure of Govardhan Hill, which is my life and soul. So, whose pleasure is it? Whose pleasure is he seeking? Whom does Agarana Das Goswami want to please? He is not saying the pleasure of Krishna, which is my life and soul. That's what we are trained for. But he is selling the pleasure of Govardhan Hill, which is my life and soul. And which is a beautiful jewel mine of transcendental virtues. It is a beautiful jewel mine of transcendental virtues. Giriraj. Govardhan. He is full of. And you know Govardhan, best quality of Govardhan. Best quality. The nature of Govardhan. He takes pleasure in serving devotees. That's why Radharani loves Govardhan. And she told Govardhan as Haridasavarya. He is the best why because he is the most expert in serving all the residents of Vrindavan. And he gives shelter. And when he is little like a child, when he was standing on the hand of Krishna, like, and Indra, like, so everybody loves Govardhan like a child. And anybody comes, so Govardhan is very eager to serve. It is said when this, when the Lord sits on the throne and it's winter, so he makes the throne very warm. So they feel very comfortable, very nice. And then Govardhan has many caves. And if you go in the caves, Govardhan provides all the facilities, drinking water, whatever you need, some nectar, some fruits, the nice jewels with which there is a mild light and the Govardhan caves. So Govardhan is very eager to serve all the Rajbasis in whichever way they want to serve. And he just stands there and he's like, give me some service. He's very eager. He serves the cows, he serves the elders, he serves the calves. So the Gopas, so the Gopi, so Krishna, he serves everybody. So he's called Hari Dasvarya, the best among all the servants. And you know who is the best devotee of Krishna? The best devotee of Krishna is one who is the devotees of Krishna's devotees. He becomes the best devotee of Krishna. And he is the best among all of them because he is very expert at serving the Lord. And Lord Krishna loves. And this verse, Hari Dasavarya, uh, uh, he is the best of all the devotees, is spoken by Srimati Radharan, glorifying Govardhan. The, the pleasure of Govardhan Hill, which is my life and soul, which is the beautiful jewel mine of transcendental virtues, is a ripe fruit I seek from my labor in writing these verses. So what is what is Govard, what is Raghunath Das Goswami asking? Why is he writing these verses? Why is he glorifying Govardhan? He want to? Why is he writing these verses? He want to uh, for the pleasure of Govardhan. He just want to please and give pleasure to Govardhan. He's like he is addicted to Govardhan. And it is also and it is also said. And what else can you see about the character of Raghunath Das Goswami from this beautiful Govardhan Dashakam? Govardhan Ashtray Dashakam. What else do you see? What anything comes out for you from this place? It's love and affection towards the uh, What else do you see in that? He's glorifying the devotees of the Lord. Very nice. Anything else? And also it says how Raghunath Goswami is so addicted to the pastimes of the Lord. So addicted to the Lord and Lord's pastimes. And because one is Govardhan himself, Govardhan personality, and one is Govardhan offers and serves, and the Lord loves him so much. So he wants to be there and sometimes go to Kusum Sarovar, then sometimes go to Manas Ganga, 
हरिदेव मंदिर देन गोविंद कुंड देन राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड देन उद्धव कुंड देन कुसुम सरोवर माल्या कुंड हरा कुंड अपसरा कुंड नवल कुंड Sragandha Swami just float in the waves of all those past things of the Lord that happens there. So he wants to live there. Why? By living there, he will witness the Lord. If you live in a place where the Lord comes every now and then, and He just there only, then you know you get more association and you witness all those beautiful past things of Him. That's why he wants to reside on the foot of foot hill of Gower. Any thoughts? Was it very difficult? Yes, some thoughts. Thanks to never end all the past. Ah, yes, let's go through. Okay, together. Nijapati Bhuja Danda Chatra Bhavan Prapadya Pratihata Matadishto Danda Devendra Garba Atula Pritula Shaila Shreni Bhupa Priyam Me Nijanikata Nivasam Dehi Govadhanatam Pramada Madana Lila Kandare Kandare Te Rachayati Navayuna Dvandva Mashmena Mantam Iti kila kala nartham lagna ka star dvayon me nija nikata nivasam dehi govatan tvam anupama mani vedi ratna simhasan or vi ruha jaradara sano droni sanghe shurangai Sahavala Sakti Bisang Kelayan Swabriyam Me Nija Nikata Nivasam Dehi Govardhan Tvam Rasanidhi Navayuno Sakshi Nimdana Kelen Duty Parimala Virtham Shama Vedim Prakashya Rasika Varakula Nam Motam Ashwalayan Me Nija Nikata Nivasam Dehi Govardhan Tvam Haridaitam Apurvam Radhika Kundam Atma Priya Sakam Iha Kanthe Narmana Lingya Gupta Navayuva Yuga Khela Sattra Pashyan Raho Me Nija Nikata Nivasam Dehi Govardhan Tvam Hala jala tala shashpe buru ha chaya ya cha Pradipadaman kalam hanta samvardha yanta Dijagati nijagotram satakam chabayan me Nijanikatani vasam dehi govatan tvam Shurapati Krita Dirgha Droha Togoshta Raksham Tavana Vagriha Rupa Shantare Purva Taiva Agabakari Punoche Datta Mana Drutam Me Nijanikata Nivasam Dehi Govardhan Tvam Giri Nepahari Dasa Shreni Varyeti Nama Mritam idam uditam shri radhika vakta chandra Vrajanavatila katve klimta veda ishutam me Nijanikata nivasam dehi govardhantvam 
ನಿಜ ಜನಯುತ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ದಶಾಕ್ತ ವ್ರಜನರ ಪಶು ಪಕ್ಷಿ ವ್ರಾತ ಸೌಖ್ಯೈಕದಾತ ಅಗಣಿತ ಕರುಣಾತ್ಮೀಕೃತ್ಯ ತಾಂತ ನಿಜ ನಿಕಟ ನಿವಾಸ ವೈಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ನಿರುಪದಿ ಕರುಣೇನ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚಿನಂದನೇನ ತ್ವೈಕಪಟಿಸ್ಥತೋಪಿ ತ್ವಾಪ್ರಿಯೇನಾರ್ಪಿತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಖಲು ಮಮ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ಯೋಗ್ಯತ ಮಾಮೇಣ ನಿಜ ನಿಕಟ ನಿವಾಸ ದೇಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ರಸದ ದಶಕಮಶೀಲ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಕ್ಷಿತಿಧರ ಕುಲ ಭರ್ತೋರ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಾತ್ ಅಧೀತೆ ಸಸಪದಿ ಸುಖದೇಸ್ಮೇನ್ ವಾಶಂ ಆಶಾದ್ಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಶುಭದ ಯುಗಲ ಸೇವಾ ರತ್ನ ಆಪ್ನೋತಿ ತೂರ್ಣ ನಿಜ ನಿಕಟ ನಿವಾಸ ದೇಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ 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 ಓ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಓ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಪೇರೇಬಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಓ ಹಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆನ್ ಡೆಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಅಂಬ್ರೇಲಾ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ and then destroyed the pride of the deva king madly attacking with raised weapons please grant the residence near you that is so dear to me o govardhan please grant me the residence near you that will guarantee the sight of the youthful divine couple as they enjoy passionate amorous pastimes in your caves o govardhan o hill where lord krishna happily plays with brahma balaram and his friends in the incomparable jewel courtyards jewel lion thrones trees waterfalls mountain brooks caves peaks and valleys please grant the residence near you so that near you that is so dear to me o govardhan o hill that provides the dark courtyard that witnesses the dan keli pastime of the nectar treasure youthful divine couple o hill that brings great bliss to the best of they who relish transcendental nectar please grant to me residence near you o govardhan o hill that hiding as you playfully embrace the neck of your dear friend lord hari's dear unprecedented radha kund secretly gazes at the past times of the youthful divine couple please grant to me residence near you o govardhan o hill that by nourishing the cows with its water grass and the shade of its trees declares to the three words the appropriateness of its own name please grant to me residence near you govardhana means one who nourishes vardhan the cows o govardhan o hill that the enemy of agha and baka honored by transforming into a new house to give raja protection from the sustained fury of the sura king please grant to me residence near you o govardhan o king of mountains o hill whose nectar name the best of lord hari servants flows from the moon of shri radha's mouth o hill that the vedas declared to be the tilak marking of raja please grant to me residence near you o govardhan o philanthropist that gives transcendental happiness to raja's people animals and birds all anointed with the nectar of friendship for shri shri radha krishna surrounded by their friends out of your immeasurable mercy please accept unhappy me and please grant me residence near you although i am a cheater and a criminal unlimitedly merciful lord sachinandana who is very dear to you has given me to you o govardhan please do not consider whether i am acceptable or not but please grant me residence near you one who carefully reads these 10 nectar verses describing shila govardhan the king of mountains will very soon reside near that blissful hill and quickly attain the precious jewel of the service to the handsome divine couple <laughs>
श्री राज गोवर्धन की जय शिला प्रभुपाद की पंचकल्पी ओके वी आर एंडिंग ऑन सोम थैंक यू वेरी मच